What's going on guys? I'm Vite 20 here, back with a, uh, another video. And, uh, recently got back from the Brickyard 400, so, uh, again, a lot of you requested the, uh, the video about all the autographed cars I got, so, uh, here you are. So, I'll start off with, uh, some of the cars I got autographed at, uh, driver appearances and outside the garages, uh, in Indianapolis. I only really want, went to uh, one driver appearance, and that was Joe Logano at a discount tire on Friday before the race, I believe. So this is the one I got signed. I got his 2016 Xfinity Fitzgerald car signed. Uh, and I've always mentioned this. Logano and Keselowski are two of the nicest guys, uh, two of the nicest cup drivers you will meet. Uh, Logano has always been nice. And uh, so he had a gold pen on him, and it came out fantastic. Uh, one of my favorite autographs out of the cup drivers. Um, just because it kind of fills up the whole windshield, I don't know, I just I think it looks really, really well, so, uh, there you have it there. Focus in a little bit. That's always, uh, your best bet for, uh, for autographs is, uh, driver parents where you can sit down and they can, uh, sign it. Always comes out pretty darn nice. So, uh, like, uh, I'll, I'll start off here and mention, uh, how I always know about the driver appearances is Jayski's site. They have a page for driver appearances that they update, uh, usually daily. When it gets close to the weekend, so uh, I always check that. Uh, all you gotta do is search in NASCAR driver appearances on Google, and it should be one of the top two search results. So, so with that, that is that was the only really appearance that I went to. Um, the next one, this is uh, this is kind of a really random one, but uh, I brought this car along uh, since I saw he was racing the Xfinity race, and uh, my only car for Dakota Armstrong. But uh, he was walking from the media center to the garages. Uh, just kind of out, out in the public. Uh, I was actually sitting there uh, eating lunch, and uh, my buddy pointed over to me that he was walking by and uh, just caught him. So uh, this is uh, Dakota Armstrong's 2014 uh, Nationwide Series car. So uh, had a gold pen on me. I really like the look of the gold. I've been uh, rocking with the, the gold Sharpies as of late. Uh, it came out really, really well. So uh, he's a really, really cool dude. So that was a really random one. I love this car. I love this paint scheme. So, uh, like I said, saw him on the entry list, so I figured I'd bring it along and I uh, got it signed. So the next one here, I posted this one on Instagram, uh, much like all the other ones. This was probably one of the best looking autographs I got through the whole week. Uh, it is Blake Cook's 2015 Leaf Filter car. Uh, so I got this done with the green paint pen. I don't know if he's watching, but shout out to my man Brian. We, uh, me and my buddy, we met up with him and uh, watched the Xfinity race with him. So we walked around uh, the garages all day with him. And uh, he was kind enough to lend me his green paint pen, which uh, I believe has turned me on to the, to the paint pens now. I've always used just the regular Sharpies, but um, the paint pen looked awesome on this with the green. So uh, Cotton Blake Cook um, actually had cold passes, which for the first time ever, I've, I've had some special passes for a NASCAR race. Um, how I got him? I know a guy. I was on pit road for Xfinity qualifying, so after he was done, he walked over the wall and uh, got him there. So, uh, so yeah, it came out really, really cool. Very, very clean. And there you have it. So the next two here, uh, I got behind the garage stalls for the cup guys. Uh, it's one of the beautiful things about IMS is that unlike most tracks, the cup guys, their garages are right behind pit road. And the fans can get right behind that so uh, unlike most tracks where usually the the whole garage area for the cup guys are blocked off uh, they pretty much have to come through the fans to get back to the uh, to the motorhomes or or to their haulers or whatever so um, so yeah most of the time you can catch just about everybody sometimes you know Jimmy Johnson will will slip through without anybody seeing him uh, some other different way or some other guys uh, but you pretty much see everybody if you're going to be there, if you're going to stay behind the garages most of the, the weekend. So um, so this first one I got here is Clint Boyer's 2008 Richmond race version. So uh, this is one I wanted to get signed for quite a while. Unfortunately, my Sharpies, they just weren't quite, they didn't quite have it this, this weekend. So a lot of them didn't come out too terribly great. Um, but this one wasn't too bad. As you can see, like it started out good and it, it faded a little bit. But, um, but yeah, not too bad. I can't complain at all. Um, like I said, a lot of them, they came out sort of kind of faded. Um, so, uh, none of them came out too, too horrible, but, uh, but yeah, this is one I wanted to get signed for, uh, quite a long while. It's a fairly hard race version to find now, but, uh, but yeah, there you have it. And then, uh, this next one is Kyle Busch's 2015 Brickyard 400 race version. 
Uh, unfortunately, in the black again. Kyle, Kyle Bush just doesn't care what if you have a pen or not. He just signs it and goes on. Uh, I'm not really a diss on Kyle Bush, but like, uh, it was at Pocono, I believe. I wanted to get his, um, actually, so I got his Elite signed, uh, the Elite version. This is the ARC of his uh, Brickyard car since I was there. Uh, I wanted to get get it signed in silver, and he pretty much fist bumped uh, my my silver sharpie and signed it with the black, and it was kind of the same deal with this. So, uh, you know, it's okay. Uh, most of the time, a lot of the, the black sharpies, they don't show up very good on the windshield, obviously, but um, I don't know, it's kind of weird. The Elite version and the ARC of this, uh, they didn't show up too terribly bad. So, uh, as much as I wanted it in silver, again, can't complain. So these next couple cars, I would imagine most people have probably clicked on the video for. I gotta give a huge thanks and shout out to my buddy Diecast Reviews. He was kind enough to hold uh, two, two of my cars for Dale Jr. Uh, throughout the weekend and get them signed. So I'll link his channel down below in the description. Go give him a, su a subscription if you haven't already. But uh, I guess I'll do these in the order that I got them. Uh, the first time I caught him throughout the weekend was out of the media center. He did a couple different press conferences because, of course, that was the week right after or the race uh, soonest to when they announced uh, the whole Alex Bowman deal. So uh, uh, he did a couple of press conferences with Alex Bowman and uh, Rick Hendrick. Unfortunately, I didn't catch Rick Hendrick. I don't, I don't know where he went, but uh, I really wanted to catch him. Unfortunately, I didn't. But uh, So I got his 2014 Martinsville race version signed. This is the Elite. So there's a look there. All of them came out really, really well. Very, very happy with it. Luckily, Dale Jr. is one of the few that always have a, has a silver sharpie on, on him. So, um, so yeah, that's one guy you really don't have to worry about autograph-wise. Uh, next up, from the same time, was his uh, Talladega win. And uh, man, this is probably this is probably my favorite one. I think it came out the best out of all of them, except for maybe uh, another one or two. But um, but yeah. As a Dale Jr. fan, it's uh, it's always, like, I've only seen him a couple of different times. Only got his autograph a couple other times. But, uh, man, it's something else to see him. And uh, he was really, really cool over the week. I saw him, what, three times, two out of the media center and one through Gasoline Alley. And uh, he always signed as many autographs as he, as he could, you know, going from point A to point B. And, um, yeah, he always, he was really cool with the fans, smiling and everything. So, um, it was it was really, really cool. So these next two here I actually got in the same day as the other two. I usually bring a lot of junior cars just, just in case. So uh, when I got the first two signed earlier in the day, I went back to my truck uh, and restocked and got another two. And I uh, actually caught them after qualifying. Actually qualifying was after the Xfinity race. So I uh, went from our seats down back uh, behind the garages there and caught some of the drivers after qualifying. And Dale Jr. was cool enough. Came from Pit Road, walked all the way down Gasoline Alley where all the fans are. Uh, hung a left and went past everybody eating and everything on the they got a huge area for picnic tables and everything all the way past that to the media center and uh, signed all the way there which was really really cool he came up and of course as soon as he uh, walked past the garages he got a big smile on his face with everybody uh, hurtling around him but uh, it was crazy but I was able to, uh, to get two of them signed this one was a little special I brought this one and got it signed uh, I got to see this car run in person in Richmond. Uh, this was the uh, Mountain Dew Decision car, so I don't know. I thought that was a really cool one. I was mainly going for race versions, and I got a lot of them. Uh, a lot of the main race versions I wanted to get signed, signed. So, uh, so I got this one, and then got his Daytona win signed. This is the Elite. So there you have it. There again, all of them came out really, really well. So the last Dale Jr. car I got signed was on Sunday. Uh, I was actually waiting for Jeff Gordon. He was doing a Q&A at the Chevy stuff, and uh, he was doing a book signing, and uh, apparently he signed for uh, quite a few people. So I actually had a Gordon car on me. Uh, I believe he was a pace car driver, but I uh, actually di ditched uh, trying to see Gordon and because uh, I, I heard that Dale Jr. was in the media center. And uh, sure enough, he came out later, and I was able to get his 2008 Michigan win sign, which is uh, uh, one I really, really wanted to get signed. Uh, and there you have it. Again, came out really, really well. It was one of the last ones uh, to get an autograph. He was hopping into uh, to a car there, take him somewhere. But uh, but yeah, it was really, really cool. I, I I said thank you. He said he said yeah, thanks, man. Uh, that was pretty cool. But like I said, he was he was always really, really cool with all the fans. Um, you know, of course, he had PRP 
people and everybody surrounding him, you know, just trying to get the, uh, to get him moving, which, you know, is pretty needed with all how crazy some of the fans are, but, uh, you know, it's totally understandable, but he was always really, really cool about it. He went slow, he signed as for as many people as he could, and he went on. So, there you have it. So, uh, two Kevin Harvey cars I got signed, um, they did a fan fest on Friday night, I believe, which it was hot as hell, uh, but it was downtown, and, uh, they had a bunch of guys there. I only stayed for a little while just because it was so damn hot. But, uh, the first event they had, uh, Chase Elliott and Harvick and Corey LaJoy, so, uh, they did a bunch of games and whatever, and, uh, afterwards it was, it was, it was honestly pretty poorly designed with, uh, how crazy it was, so they basically just had some some blockers all around and they blocked people off to watch the events and then afterwards they took them all down and everybody it was like the floodgates they just everybody took off after their driver they wanted and there was just elbowing people bouncing off each other uh it was it wasn't like a, a sit down you know here we go we're gonna do something we're gonna do these events and the drivers are gonna sit down and sign autographs for everybody uh it wasn't like that at all it just everybody just flocked so so this is partially why, um, what happened to this car. Uh, again, my buddy Diecast Reviews got this one signed for me. Uh, he was kind enough, which it came out really well. Um, I just, uh, believe, I'm, I'm not 100% sure what happened, but, uh, the gold pen, uh, caught the spoiler and whatever, and, um, which I, you know, it is whatever, but, uh, but yeah, it's just what happens when people are just, it, I don't really have the words to describe how bad it was. It was just, uh, just, impatient people oh, it was it was nuts uh, and then this one I got signed and uh, again I got gold pen all over just trying to get it signed and as soon as I turned around there was there's was just like no way out it's just people surrounding everybody so uh, so yeah it came out a little smudged and whatever with the, the gold pen and uh, it was it was crazy I, I'm not mad at it at all it's just uh, I was definitely hoping they would uh, have it controlled a little bit better than that. Again, I think Chase Elliott snuck out of there somewhere. And, um, but yeah, most of the people were going after Harvick, uh, believe it or not. And uh, it got crazy. So the last four here I got uh, autographed on race day. Uh, I waited quite a bit. Uh, of course, now NBC Broadcasting, so they have the NBC pre-race, uh, whatever you want to call it, whatever they call it. Uh, they have uh, Chris Devota, Kyle Petty, and Dale Jarrett. So uh, knowing that... Uh, brought along one of my Dale Jarrett cars and uh, got this one signed. Uh, it didn't come out too terribly bad. Again, my pens were not working too terribly well, but, um, but yeah, nonetheless, it was really, really cool to see Dale Jarrett and uh, get a car signed by him. Um, but yeah, this was uh, his car from 2007, I believe. So there you have it. There's a good look at the car. But uh, yeah, it came out a little faded here and there, but uh, nonetheless, not too bad. Uh, here's one that actually came out pretty well. Uh, the one one car, one autograph that came out surprisingly well with my shitty pens. Uh, Eric Almarola. I got this not too terribly long ago. It was 2017 uh, STP car, so uh, with the correct Monster logos on there and everything. So didn't come out too terribly bad. Now this, uh, I caught Dale Jarrett, like I said, before the NBC thing. Uh, these last three here, uh, the drivers do uh, like a brick walk kind of thing, so they have it set up so... Most of the drivers, not all of them, most of the drivers come out through the grid walk uh, or through the brick walk after driver intros. So uh, it's a hell of a long walk. They, they walk all the way through there uh, into the Pagoda uh, and to Pit Road. So, um, so yeah, most of the drivers were there. I don't think Danica came through. Kurt Busch just kind of did that stupid little grin thing and walked through everybody and didn't sign for anybody, uh, to my knowledge. Uh, Dale Jr. came through and signed like the whole left side, so I missed him. Uh, Jimmy Johnson, surprisingly signed for a lot of people, including me. I got his 2016 Martinsville win Elite signed. Um, again, came out a little faded, but, uh, you know, not too bad. Uh, it was really cool to see Jimmy Johnson, now seven-time champion. Um, I got to see this win in person, uh, and this win set him up uh, to for the Final Four for Homestead. So uh, it was really cool to get this one signed. And like I said, he usually uh, avoids the fans and doesn't, you know, sign too terribly much, but, um, but yeah, it was really, really cool to see him, uh, sign for a lot of people. But yeah, not too bad. It's always cool to, uh, to get Jimmy Johnson. It's, uh, crazy accomplishments he's, uh, he's gotten, and, uh, this is one I really, really wanted to get signed. And the last one I got signed here was, uh, Matt Kenseth's, uh, 2016 Darlington Throwback, so, uh, 
again, came out a little faded here and there, but uh, not too bad. So uh, that was a pretty cool one to get signed. Uh, like I said, one of my one of my favorite throwbacks from uh, 2016. So uh, not too terribly bad. So there you have it, guys. Uh, I, I've mentioned this many, many times. Uh, Indianapolis, from the tracks I've been to, which isn't too terribly many, out of like Pocono, Richmond, Dover, Martinsville, and Indianapolis. I believe that's it. But, uh, Indianapolis, man, is is the place to go uh, for autographs. Uh, like I said, you know, I haven't been to all the tracks, but uh, but Indianapolis really is a great track to meet some of the drivers. So uh, I would definitely highly recommend. The, the Brickyard, the, the races there for NASCAR usually aren't too terribly great. Uh, this year was, was kind of crazy, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's usually when the races aren't that good, it's more of an experience kind of track uh, to see a lot of the drivers, and there's always a lot of cool things going on at IMS for, uh, for the NASCAR weekend. So. so there it is, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, uh, I always post uh, all my autographs on my new diecast pickups on my Instagram page below, so uh, you can check that out down below in the description. But uh, if you have any more questions, I'll be happy to answer them. You can always uh, comment down below. You can send me a DM on Instagram or Twitter or, or just tweet me or whatever. So uh, that'll do it. Like I said, appreciate you guys always, and I'll see you all in the next video.